So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. Taciturn is the word I used. Taciturn. Yes. People have described me that way, if you can believe it. Oh, I would never say that about you. Thank you. I wouldn't either. <clears throat> you seem very warm. Very caring. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. Oh my god, Benny! What are you thinking? You could have killed us. that Ben you can talk to your friend after you practice oh my god is she really calling you again what is she obsessed with you What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he cried. Go talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Oh, man. Did I just cause a fight with your parents? I actually think I'm sorry, dude. But you should also cherish the ocean here a little bit. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it, but... Now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board, crustacean types perform well against mollusk types. So we got to be leaning on lobster a lot more in these reef battles. Then once we get to the trench, we'll be facing what they call craniate types. So chondric types will be what we need. But we haven't even gotten any of those yet. Anyway, it's all pretty complicated, so we can go over it in history class tomorrow. But listen, I definitely don't want you to play without me. But if you do end up playing without me, spend as much time as possible in the Red Reef, because that's supposedly where you can find these chondric types, which we're for sure going to need. But we'll talk more tomorrow, okay? Okay, I gotta go. Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, 
would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That hey, is Amamet. Mr. Kid. That's, yes, that's a sheep. Look at it. The head of a crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. <laughs> so I am not quite sure Ew, why I don't Why is he so scared looking? Right okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call, dude. Slightly worried about having him change school just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, but I... Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Danny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says you say. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby, I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now, okay? Chloe, out. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like my favorite vegetable is the tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? 
Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? A crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can we please try to speak a little softer? Can we? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. What's he doing? He's wrong. He should come and visit me himself. Who's in the song you in, Chris? Huh? No. Are you young good kid? <laughs> well, ever since he got sick, all he does is make art. And what about his piano? Well, it doesn't do anything more. I don't think he's doing anything. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a lot of it. You know, she had And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place.
I really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she literally just left with her dad in tears. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod. Make art, you ponies. Oof. Mr. Brin? Feel each shape. I want you all to take a long look what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin, for I fear with talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. It becomes difficult putting one foot in front of the other when they are no longer touching the ground. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly I'm actually dizzy. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. And one little thing. A birdie told me that Elba Preston Hoover gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Preston is not in the business of the arts. Elba Prasenhuber is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no business man. You are an artist. Live like one. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. got a good feeling about you. We're going to make a lot of money together.
to actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Ooh, that's good. So, now that you've made it, tell me, what are you going to do with it? Besides buying me fancy dinners like this every week, obviously. Because I can get used to this. <laughs> oh, this looks delicious. I'm getting a salad and an appetizer and I'm already stealing the bread. <gasps> Look at that butter. Oh my gosh, it's in the shape of a swan. Oh my God. I never thought I'd see the day where you would take me out to dinner, but I like it. Oh wow. Should I get soup? No. I can get soup at home. Honey, honey, stop. Is that a... Is it Benjamin Brent? Oh my god. I think it is. Four places. That's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? You ready to come up here? Oh, shoot it. Am I still on? Oh, 
Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, she didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? That's so fascinating, son. through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? God, you were such a little jerk back then. I kept that drawing, you know? Oh my god, I bet it's worth quite a bit of money now. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. 